What's going on everybody, it's Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited to show you a new feature that was released as part of the Oculus integration V37 and above. And that feature is called the Physical Track Keyboard SDK, which by the name is going to allow us to track a physical keyboard. In my case, I ended up getting the Apple Magic Keyboard. You can also use a Logitech and I'm gonna be putting both links to those keyboards in the description of this video so you guys can see what is currently supported. I'm also gonna walk you through everything that you need to do in Unity to basically convert what you have here, which is a physical keyboard, into a prefab that is going to be tracked in your own virtual experiences. So let's jump into my computer and start working on it. All right, guys, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is we're gonna be pairing the Magic Keyboard, and you can also use the Logitech, like I said in the beginning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up here my menu, and we're going to go into Settings. If you go into Settings, we're gonna have also Experimental. This is an experimental feature, so you know that what we're doing today might not make it to the future version, but normally they do. And then what I'll do here is I'll just do pair. All right, so now it's telling me if I want to pair with this Magic Keyboard. It's gonna go ahead and say pair. There's one more setting that I think we also need to set. So if I go and I scroll down a little bit, you can also see Bluetooth Track Keyboard, which we're going to be needing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do Edit. You can see that we now have, you know, the two that are currently supported. So I'm just gonna do the Apple Magic. And now you're gonna see that I can see, this is really cool. So now if I lift it, it's actually creating, you know, a 3D model of the track device. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it down. And you can see that I can now, so if I were to, you know, press a button. Currently, this is not really doing anything because I haven't really configured it. But you can see that I can see it now in, in VR. Okay, so before I jump into Unity, there's going to be a couple of things that I want you to check is that the version of the operating system on the device has to be at least V37. All right, guys, so now that we're in Unity, there's going to be a couple of features that we need to enable and set up a project. So this is a brand new scene. There's really nothing in it. Just create a new project with 2020.3.21. And if you go into Window and then Package Manager, so I'm just going to do Oculus and we can see Oculus integration in there. We can, it says that I need an update available, which is is the version that we want. So I'll just do go ahead and update it. And then once it updates, I'll go ahead and import it. All right guys, so I got everything updated. So now if you go into Assets Oculus, you're gonna see that we have a VR folder. And there's gonna be a scene in here that we're going to be testing out. So it's gonna be the track keyboard. We'll just go ahead and double click on that. And it's gonna open this scene in here, which we're gonna be basically typing with our physical keyboard. But before we do anything in here, there's gonna be a couple more settings that we need to that we need to change. So just bear with me, we're going, to, we're going to be doing that. So what I'll do now is we're gonna be using the OpenXR backend. I actually already did that, but just to show you, if you wanted to do that, you can do into tools and then OpenXR and just make sure that you click on switch to OVR plugin with OpenXR backend because we're using pass through and that pass through requires the OpenXR. And it's gonna say that this is already enabled because I already did it. Once you get that done, then we're just gonna go into player settings. So it's gonna do build settings and then add this scene as well to be the one that we're gonna be building. And then what I need to do as well is I'm gonna be changing this to Android. So let's go ahead and switch the platform. All right, so I got my device connected. You can see that Oculus Quest 2 is now in the list and also Android is being switched. So now what we need to do is go into player settings and we're gonna go into XR plugin management. Click on install and it's going to install the management tools for XR. Now click on Oculus so that we can install the Oculus plugin provider. The next step that you need to do is make sure that the initialize XR on a startup is also enabled. And I'm also gonna go into desktop and enable Oculus just in case if we wanted to run it through the Oculus link. Even though pass-through features won't work, we can also test different features. So just make sure that you do that. So now go into player and we're gonna be changing a couple of the player settings under Android. So if you go under Android, we're gonna go down here and change this to IL2 CPP. And then if you do that, we're also gonna be changing this from ARM v7 to ARM64. And this is so that it works with the actual pass-through features. If you don't do this, pass-through features won't work. And then I'm also gonna need at least API level 23. I think we already have that set. IL2 CPP and then ARM64 is the other thing that we needed to do. So the last thing that we need to do here is I'm gonna be changing this from gamma to linear. So make sure that you do that. So now what we need to do is we need to go into the OVR camera rig. And if you scroll down, we're gonna be enabling controllers and hands. And that's so that we can use our hands to type on the keyboard. 
You're also going to be enabling the track keyboard support. So I'm just gonna say, you can either say support it or you can say require. I think, I think I'm just gonna say require. And then we're also going to be enabling the pass-through capability. And if you go under experimental, we also need to make sure that we enable this feature. All right guys, so it looks like the Apple Magic Keyboard was detected. You can kind of see the UI. And I can also look at the pass-through. So if I were to get far from the keyboard, the hands turn black. As soon as I get close to the keyboard, I can see the pass-through. And this is cool because if I wanted to start typing, hello world, how are you? Then it's a lot easier for me to, you know, to not make mistakes if I want to delete. I can do that, hola, amigos, then I can hit enter. And the other cool thing that I can do, if I wanted to rotate it a little bit, you can kind of see, okay, so a stay change. So I can move it up a little bit and then move it down. And But the tracking, I mean, it loses tracking if I do that. And that kind of makes sense, but it's perfectly aligned if I were to move around and it's perfectly aligned, I can see my hands, so. So I am, I am really impressed with this. It's currently connected. There's a couple of things that you can change here in the UI, but I think I'm gonna just call it good. So this is everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.